The disturbing thought that sinks into my mind on the neuropalm is not my own. It's the thought of a stranger and gives off a hint of cinnamon. Eden, kill Aris. I jerk upright, drowsy from my morning commute into the megalopolis where my second-hand vintage bookshop awaits me in an anachronistic pocket of ho hover traffic noise and the haste of anonymous masses. That is where the stiff walking hipster in the Bordeaux hat convinced me to try a revolutionary neurocom, space dust. The internet of universal cognition, yeah, right. Just like exploring the worlds of someone's mind through an immersive book, he added. That's how he got me. Of course, nothing had happened since the minor surgery a few days ago, but today is different. A signal is buzzing through. My heart beats in my throat as I thrust into a new universe in my own mind. Is this getting through? Kill Aris, an androgynous voice commands. A sensation like tingling liquid and red sparkles behind my eyes and cinnamon. What? Who is Aris? Who's the creep sinking this? I scan the ghostly face with flickering eyes around me. Retinal AR projections of news, messages, eye-tracking-based games. There, that dark-haired hacker chick opposite me, wrapped into a thick coat, bearing woven in solar panels. The one wearing those clunky kinet en kin kinetic energy harvester boots. Bright green eyes piercing right through me. She sticks out of the grimy commuter fabric like a jean modded glow in the dark goldfish in an old school pet shop. She's a cog, all right. While I'm pondering how to answer her, what does one reply to that? She pokes around in the craters of my dazzled brain, uncovers it. A lonely, stuttering geek, with a crutch an eternal accessory for my limp leg, saving to swap my fractured knee for a bionic one, who has given up on human connections and spends his evenings with retinal entertainment streams. My tongue lies heavy in my mouth like a dead creature. Her presence in my mind feels nothing like the advertised exploration of empathy in a mutual shared world. This is colonization, a terraforming virus, the most vicious and astounding headache in the small history of my life. Oh dear, he's a green rabbit, Cinnamon Girl vocalizes in my head. I roll on her, I roll on her face. And you be... Don't say you've never done this, but... Oh, wait. Nope. He's never synced before. Another thought. Green flash. Yellow apple smell. He'll screw it up. Let's find another. Cinnamon smell. Shades of red lowering themselves into my eyes. Tick-tock. I know he's ridiculously non-agile, but... Oh. Silence. Cinnamon stares at me. Embarrassed? What the? You've got someone in there, I ask. I can uh, um, sense everything, you know. A dual cognition can destabilize. Relax, little neophyte. Just my active subconscious. You're a node, aren't you? Silence. Nodes are dangerous. Connections can bifurbicate. And before you realize it, you are distributed in brains around the world as disembodied flatulence of consciousness, never finding your way back. I'm not going to zap anyone, Node, and not now get the bonk out of my head. Grasshopper, you think I'm the Node? She chuckles. You are. What? I didn't sign up for this. Oh, technically, I literally did sign up, but... I had no idea what that meant. She tells me she's an admin. 
and her eyes glisten like those of a predator. My eyes open wider. Damn. Node protocol network access. Let's her remotely shut off any cog, even a node. Legit claim. The only problem is a little, shall we say, permanent. A tiny tickle in your brainstem that fries the pants right off your glutes. I sense you're grasping your options about this murderously exciting gig. I close my eyes and exhale. So, I'm trapped in space dust, hijacked by a psychotic admin. <laughs> and how's your morning going? What murder exactly? I ask quietly. I hope my thoughts freaking stink of the worst rotting sulfur in her brain. Mine. I'm Aris. Ten, min ten minutes later, Aris is sitting next to me in the now deserted coach that has rolled into the depot, where she has just finished giving me her instructions. Admins are blocked from doing it themselves. And here we are, the earlobe-sized metal flesh port behind her ear exposed, the matching mini flash drive, the shape of a coin stuck in the sweaty palm of my shaking hand. So that is how you commit a murder in space dust, in case you were wondering, downloading a malicious piece of code into them. So, uh... Are you a machine person or an augment, I think? As if that makes any difference. Are you kidding? I wish my computerized voice would rip through her head like a solar storm. But a kind, humble autotone is all I have. Shutting down a computer or killing someone isn't the same thing. She scoffs. Visibly offended, isn't it? How can you insinuate those eye-obliterated workers qualify to be alive and a machine sentience doesn't qualify? My gaze drowns in the moist layers of melancholy in her eyes. A sensation of cinnamon-scented autumn drizzle sinks into me. My head drums. Assisted AI suicide versus getting my brains shockwaved out. Um, an overwhelming concept for my moderately capable biological brain. Please, release me. My chest feels as if it's getting compressed down to the size of a computer chip. What if someone hacked her? Controlling her body and feeding all this nonsense into my mind. And what's on that drive? I glance forth and back between the drive in my hand and her. Hand, machine, hand, bot, hand, live, hand, die, hand. I hold my breath. When I plug the drive into her port like a toxic kill shot, her body spasms with the loud bangs of her boots until the sparks in her eyes fades. It's not long until an expanding dizziness emerges in me. Cinnamon, apple, spicy smells and colours, more and more than everything blurs. Thanks for killing me out of kindness, Eden. When I jolt awake, I'm sitting on a gritty subway seat, surrounded by moving waves of flashing commuter eyes. Irrelevant admin charter details, though, boring, boring yikes. I rebooted in you, my virgin node. We'll be cosmonauts in the vast sea of distributed minds. You'll be the broadband hosting the infinite universe of co-exploration shared between the first thousand, then millions, then billions of cogs. No, no, no. It's in my mind now. The Aris thing is in my mind. I clasp my head against my, my hands against my head. You'll never be alone again, Eden. 
A scream is stuck in my brain before it reaches my throat. I frantically hold on to the commuters next to me for help, one after the other to the next. No one notices me. <laughs>